Make sure there is nothing inside the dishwasher before you turn it on. Shut the door all the way and turn the switch to on. This will automatically plug the dishwasher and start filling it. If you look to the left of the dishwasher above the ice maker, there's a switch for the hood. Make sure you turn this on as well as this will suck out any of the steam and moisture created by the dishwashing machine. Once the dishwasher is no longer making a filling noise, it is ready for use. There are two different types of racks for dishes at square one. There's a peg rack and a flat rack. The peg rack is good for plates and glasses. The flat rack is good for large pots and pans. So spray your dishes off in this sink, fill up your rack, and then slide it into the dishwasher. Gently and securely shut the door all the way and wait for the cycle to finish. When the green light turns off, the cycle is done. It takes about a minute. From there, you can open the door and slide out your clean dishes. Be careful, everything will be hot and steamy. When you're all done with dishes, turn off the switch and that will drain the dishwasher. Also make sure that you turn off the hood. Once you are done with all your dishes, it is very important that you clean up the dish area, even if there are others still using it. So you will take the spray sink and spray off the backsplash and the wall of the dish area making sure that there is no food debris left behind. Then use the provided squeegee to squeegee all the excess water into the sink. It is important that you leave the dish area clean for the next person or anyone else who is using the area. Once you have squeegeed everything into the sink, get off the sides of the sink and make sure that all the food is going down into the drain. From there, turn on the garbage disposal. Green is for on, Red is for stop. The garbage disposal automatically feeds water into the sink, so while that's doing its work, you can dry off the backsplash and all of the tables with a dry towel.